This is the Shell Refinery, a crude oil refinery located in Clyde, New South Wales. Built in the early 1920s, it was in operation longer than any other oil refinery in Australia and classified as state significant infrastructure by the New South Wales government. After many years of long and illustrious service, its new owner, Viva Energy, is converting the site into a fuel import facility, necessitating the demolition and removal of all refinery infrastructure, including processing units, plant and pipework, chimney stacks, storage tanks and buildings. All to be cleared down to grade level and removed from site. Faced with such an important and sensitive task, the client enlists the services of Liberty Industrial. Initially, the Liberty Industrial team assists the client with the preparation of documentation critical for obtaining development consent from the New South Wales Department of Planning and Environment. A comprehensive orientation and education period is undertaken between the Liberty Industrial team and the Shell refinery operators, some of whom have worked at the plant for over 30 years. Information vital to the success of the demolition process is systematically shared and compiled. A comprehensive inspection and validation strategy is adopted to identify the hydrocarbon hazards throughout the refinery. This information is invaluable in the development of risk mitigation strategies and the implementation of adequate control measures. Aside from the usual environmental concerns, such as dust, noise and vibration, there is another unexpected complication. The site is a habitat for the green and gold bellfrog. Protected as an ecologically endangered species, harming just one could bring a fine of $250,000. Taking no chances, the Liberty Industrial team are educated on how to identify and handle the frogs. Further complicating the endeavour, the project involves the removal of substantial volumes of hazardous materials including asbestos, synthetic mineral fibre and polychlorinated biphenyl. The project involves the removal of more than 400 tonnes of hard-set limpet asbestos. Liberty Industrial's skilled asbestos removal operatives will spend more than 20,000 hours removing asbestos from structures. Controlled wetting injection technology will be used to enhance the safety and efficacy of the operation. In addition, over 100,000 litres of PCB-contaminated mineral oil will be sent for dechlorinisation. Significant structures to be demolished include the two largest refining process units and the refinery's five massive reinforced concrete chimney stacks. The 60-metre-tall, 1,000-tonne platformer reactor structure will be brought down with a predetermined mechanically-induced collapse. This will require a carefully designed and calculated sequence of structural pre-weakening. A 120-tonne excavator will be used to apply inertia and induce the collapse. In certain areas, it is necessary to work alongside the terminal operators to complete major parts of the demolition requiring nothing less than surgical precision to ensure the safety and success of the operation. None more so than the removal of a 65-metre tall, 1,500-tonne reactor and stripper structure. This structure is situated immediately adjacent to a main jet fuel line that feeds Sydney Airport. The Liberty Industrial team must work over and around live hydrocarbon pipelines that pump thousands of litres of fuel per day. This structure will be demolished using controlled explosive techniques. Explosives are used to fragment four of the structure's seven reinforced concrete support links, forcing the structure to hinge over. To ensure the perfect accuracy required to bring down the structure safely, Liberty Industrial turns to its ASI Extreme Loading for Structures Demolition Simulation software. Empowering the team with detailed and precise data, the structure is brought down with pinpoint accuracy. The application of this innovative technology 
was a key factor in mitigating and managing the potential risks associated with the task. Another challenge for the demolition team is working around and on top of the refinery's drainage system. It is vital to identify the various drainage runs prior to bringing down the structures above, as damage to the subterranean system could harm the existing biotreatment plant. The demolition methodologies must include comprehensive gas monitoring, testing and recording for potential local explosive levels on a daily basis. The project culminates with the impressive demolition of five 80 to 100 metre high reinforced concrete chimney stacks. The 1,000 tonne concrete structures will be demolished through the controlled use of explosives. In the lead up to this demolition event, weeks of meticulous planning and consultation are undertaken by the project team, working with a number of government regulatory authorities. As with the reactor and stripper structure, one of the chimney stacks is situated only metres from a live hydrocarbon line. It is imperative that the planned fall direction of all five chimney stacks is maintained. Four of the stacks came down perfectly and as predicted. The fifth, despite having a considerable section displaced at the base as per the planned approach, the stack remained upright. A plan was soon developed and put in place to recharge a small section of the stack. A few hours later, the charges were fired and the stack came down through the predicted fall line. Project resource recovery exceeded 93% of all materials, with only 7% of the waste generated from the project going to a landfill. 16 months and 150,000 man hours. The Clyde Refinery Removal Project is successfully completed. The project team's meticulous planning and hard work has paid off. As a result of their dedication and collaborative effort, an entire refinery facility has been successfully removed with all works completed without incident, on schedule and in line with stakeholder expectations. Thanks to the team at Liberty Industrial.